I've purchased, built, and modified over 50 cars. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how they work. Most LEGO Speed Champions start with this piece. This is for the eight stud wide cars. Wow. Six stud wide cars start with this piece here. With the exception of a few anomalies, like the McLaren Solus GT, which isn't built from one of those large plastic pieces, all LEGO Speed Champions use this as their central hub to begin a build. Which brings us to another important part of the vehicle, the axles. This is for the eight stud wide with four studs in between, and this is for the six stud wide with two studs in between. And they both serve alongside the car, making sure the wheels fit in and the car works together perfectly. Finally, the fenders are one of the most important parts of the car, and they go over the wheels to allow for some great detailing and the core of the car, which gives you a chassis that looks like this. But the cars don't just end here. They move out a little bit. Let me give you some examples. One of my favorite cars, the Pagani Utopia's entire rear exhaust system is one giant extending piece. As you see, the rear axles end here. The car goes off an extra stud, and then this massive connection piece gives off a huge detail factor at the end of the car, allowing for an extra bit of detailing. I mean, you take away that piece and the car looks half of what it is. And a good example of some front detailing is the Ferrari A12. As you see, the fender and wheel end here, and there's all this extra space here. In fact, you can pop off the front of this car to see how much space is really added on. And you can look under as well, there's this massive piece that sticks out from the front axle. What I find the most interesting is that this piece is not level. If you look at these studs here and the studs on the side, there's quite a gap difference in height. So when a car builds up on the sides, it's usually disconnected from the front and the back of the car. And let me show you some examples. This is my modified Corvette C8, but if you see, the building stops here on each side and then pushes in like a real car's design would be. But if you look on the inside, it's not connected. It's built up from the bottom as these pieces are connected to the side to raise the detail. I discovered this when building my very first car and I tried to connect these side pieces to the center of the car. And as you see, there's quite the gap there on the side and they don't connect to each other no matter what. One of the cleanest examples is the Mercedes AMG. As you see on the sides, it's completely built from the ground up and not the sides of the car. Well, I hope this video is helpful in learning how Speed Champions works. If you wanna know about what's inside the Speed Champions, take apart the guts of the car, check out this video right here.